Hello everyone, RJ Nick here with a quick video. Um, this is going to be part of my quick tips segment. I'm going to try to get everything explained as quickly as I can just to cover some of the basics without wasting too much of your time. And on that note, this video is going to be about farming. So you're going to need a shovel. You won't need it, but it'd be nice to have. You need a hoe. You need water and a bunch of dirt, unless you've got dirt around you. But in this case, we're in the desert, so I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Basically what we're going to do is we're just gonna dig a five block wide row because that's how many seeds we have and we are going to fill the back two rows with oops, dirt and then up front we're just gonna fill this in with water now water is required for crops it'll keep your plants growing faster and stop the soil from drying up um, and it feeds two blocks out I believe um, so if, if it's more than that, leave it in the comments so I can make an annotation or something, but I believe it's two blocks. Anyways, you put the dirt down, put the water down, and then you use your hoe, and you right click on each of the spots. You'll notice it changes colors, it sinks down about a block, and now it's tilled soil. One thing you want to make sure you don't do is jump on your tilled soil because it can turn back into dirt, and if there's a crop growing, it will kill it. Um, so keep that in mind. Same thing with some animals. If they fall off something onto it, they can, you know, ruin your crops as well. I know cows are notorious for doing that. But once you've got that, you take your seeds, which um, you can see down here. I've got pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, um, wheat seeds, potatoes, and carrots. As well as these are some of the items you can use it and turn it into. Carrots, not much you can do with them. Basically eat them raw or if you have a lot of gold, you can make golden carrots. Potatoes, you cook them. You can either eat them raw, it'll restore. I think it's either half a point or a whole point. But the baked potato, I think it's two, something like that. You can experiment. And sometimes when you're harvesting potatoes, you'll get the poisonous potato. I think that's used in brewing. Seeds grow into wheat. Wheat gets made into bread or flour, which can then make cookies and stuff. Um, melon seeds grow melons, which when broken, make little pieces of melon. And if you take that little piece of melon, and put it in your crafting spot, then it'll turn back into seeds. So that's how you get more seeds from that. Um, you get wheat seeds um, when you break grass or when you break wheat when it's grown. Same thing with potatoes. You plant the raw potatoes and raw carrots. And then pumpkins are the same as melons, except when you break them, you just get pumpkins, like a single pumpkin, and then you can turn it back into seeds, which then you can plant. You can also make pumpkin pie out of it. So we're going to plant the pumpkins here the watermelon here, the wheat, the potato, and the carrot. Now you can see that these three all look pretty similar. You can tell the difference. I forgot exactly what it is, but um, there are minor differences between them. Um, once they grow up, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference, but technically these three can be left as sand, like this block, this one, and this one here just because the carrots, potatoes, and wheat only need one space to grow on, whereas the pumpkins and melons, when they grow, a stem will come up and then it'll grow onto the adjacent spot. So over here, you can see the finished product. Um, the pumpkins and the melons both grow these stems and they'll place the melon or pumpkin on the adjacent block next to it. Um, the wheat, when it's fully done growing, will have brown tassels at the end so you know it's good to uh, harvest. Sometimes when it grows up, it'll be you know, all green. If you harvest it then, you'll just get seeds. Um, you can see the carrots are done. You can see the orange and the potatoes are done when you can see the white. So that's how farming works. I know in a desert, it takes a lot longer to grow stuff, but it is possible. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not the most efficient way, but if you have to do it, like if you're building something underground, then that's you know one way of doing that, but I hope this sums up farming. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them for you. See you guys next time.